Hello and welcome. This is Dr. P. K. Manimali, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Physics, Sita Lakshmi Ramaswamy College. This video is about indoor radon emissions, which is an alarm to health and environment. Radon is a contaminant that affects indoor air quality worldwide. Studies have shown a clear link between breathing high concentrations of radon and incidence of lung cancer. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, radon is the second most frequent cause of lung cancer after cigarette smoking, causing 21,000 lung cancer deaths per year in the United States. About 3,000 of these deaths occur among people who have never smoked at all. The topic of interest is due to the health issues caused by radon accumulation in indoor areas in buildings and malls made of new engineering materials and chemicals used in civil industries. As the world is moving towards urbanization, destroying the greens, there arises the risk of such hidden life-threatening damages caused by man-made disasters. One among is the accumulation of radon and hence the video is made create an awareness on this issue. Overview. This video comprises basics of radioactivity and discuss regarding what is radon, where does radon come from, what is alarming about it, and what are the health hazards, and few very possible and economical remedies to overcome the problem, and then the conclusion. Radioactivity. Radioactive decay, also known as nuclear decay, radioactivity, radioactive disintegration, or nuclear disintegration is a process by which an unstable atomic nucleus loses energy by radiation. A material containing unstable nuclei is considered radioactive. Radioactive decay is a stochastic, that is very random process at the level of single atoms. According to quantum theory, it is impossible to predict when a particular atom will decay, regardless of how long the atom has existed. However, for a significant number of identical atoms, the overall decay rate can be expressed as a decay constant or as half-life. The half-lives of radioactive atoms have a huge range from nearly instantaneous to far longer than the age of universe. Radioactive decay. Three of the most common types of radioactive decay are alpha decay, beta decay, and gamma decay, all of which involve emitting one or more particles or photons. The weak force is the mechanism that is responsible for beta decay, while the other two are governed by usual electromagnetic and strong forces. Decay nucleus is called the parent radionuclide or parent radioisotope, the process produces at least one daughter nuclei. Except for gamma decay or internal conversion from a nuclear excited state, the decay is a nuclear transmutation resulting in a daughter containing a different number of protons or neutrons or sometimes both. When the number of protons changes, an atom of different chemical element is created. Now let us see different types of radiation and their impact on the body. Alpha radiation impacts tissue surface. Beta radiation enters tissue but does not pass through it, whereas gamma radiation travels through tissue all the way through the body. Radon is a radioactive gas occurring naturally and present in the atmosphere. It is often the single largest contributor to an individual's background radiation dose. But due to local differences in geology, the level of exposure to radon gas differs from place to place. A common source of radon is uranium containing minerals in the ground. Radon, chemical symbol is Rn, it is an odorless, colorless radioactive gas comes from the natural decay of uranium and radium found in nearly all rocks and soils. Radon can move up from the ground into the buildings through openings in floors or walls that are in contact with the ground. Radon can accumulate in buildings and over time can pose a serious health hazard. Parents and progeny of radon 222. 
Unlike all other intermediate elements of radioactive decay of uranium, radon is under standard conditions. It is gaseous and easily inhaled and therefore a health hazard. It occurs naturally in minute quantities as an intermediate step in the normal radioactive decay chains through which thorium and uranium slowly decay into lead and various other short-lived radioactive elements. Radon itself is the immediate decay product of radium. Its most stable isotope, radon-222, has a half-life of only 3.8 days, making it one of the rarest elements. Since thorium and uranium are two of the most common radioactive elements on Earth, while also having three isotopes with half-lives of the order of several billion years, radon will be present on Earth long into the future despite its short half-life. The decay of radon produces many other short-lived nucleides known as radon daughters, ending at the stable isotopes of lead. Properties of radon Radon is a chemical element with atomic number 86. It is radioactive, colorless, odorless, tasteless, noble gas. Radon is one of the densest gases at room temperature and is the densest of all the noble gases. Density is about 9.73 kilogram per meter cube. Radon is passingly soluble in water, but more soluble than lighter noble gases. Unlike the gaseous radon itself, radon daughters are solids and stick to surfaces, such as airborne dust particles, which can cause cancer, lung cancer if inhaled. What is alarming now? A common source of radon is uranium containing minerals in the ground, and therefore it accumulates in subterranean areas, such as basements. Radon can also occur in some groundwater, like spring waters and hot springs. Radon gas enters the home through the slab, basement, or crawl space. Pressure differences within the home, that is, from warm air, rising, and other natural effects, pull radon into living spaces from the soil. Furnace and air conditioning systems can distribute the air throughout the entire house. Radon gets in through cracks in solid flows, construction in joints, Gaps in walls, gaps in suspended floors, gaps around service pipes, cavities inside walls, the water supply, floor drains, but doesn't get out of tightly sealed homes. I repeat, it doesn't get out of tightly sealed homes. You can see the sources like soil, groundwater, stone building materials. So these are the sources of radon, whereas sinks for radon and progeny, ventilation, plate out as vapor, position as particulate matter. So here I give you a soup of radioactivity units. Fury, unit of activity is represented as A. A is equal to number of decays per second and one Curie is equal to 3.7 into 10 per 10 decays per second. Curl, denoted by BQ, which is equal to 27 pico Curie or one dk per second. Rongen absorption dose or RAD, unit of absorbed dose is represented as D, which is equal to energy absorbed per gram of tissue in the body, and one RAD is equal to 100 urges per gram. Gray is equal to 100 RAD, and one gray is equal to one joule per kilogram. Rongen equivalent man or mammal, which is represented as REM, unit of dose equivalent, H, H is equal to the absorbed dose multiplied by a biological effectiveness factor Q, and REM is equal to Q into B. CVET, ESV, which is equal to 100 REM, and alpha particles are more dangerous than the beta particles. Radon levels. Average global outdoor radon level varies between 5 to 15 becquerel per meter cube, which is equal to 0 0.135 to 0 0.405 eco curie per liter. Every year, for every 99.9 becquerel per meter cube or every 2.7 pico curie per liter, increase in long-term radon exposure, lung cancer risk rises by 16%. So here are few comparisions. So radon level, is 4 pico curie per liter, which is equivalent to almost 200 chest x-rays per year or 8 cigarettes per day. 
radon level 8 picocuri per liter, which is equal to 400 chest x-ray per year or 16 cigarettes per day. Radon level about 20 picocuri per liter equals to 1,000 chest x-ray per year or 40 cigarettes per day. Health risks of radon. People can be exposed to radon primarily from breathing radon in air that comes through cracks and gaps in buildings and homes. Because radon comes naturally from the earth, people are always exposed to it. If a person has been ex exposed to radon, 75% of the radon progeny in the lungs will become harmless lead particles after 44 years. When a particle damages a cell to make it cancerous, the onset of lung cancer takes at least five years, but often takes 15 to 25 years and even longer. Radon testing. There are different testing methods of radon emission and few of them are listed below, listed here. Activated charcoal absorption. Here, radon is absorbed into a charcoal canister, which is a short-term detector that is over 2.7 days. It's a laboratory analysis, and it is done by gamma ray scintillation counters. Then the next one is alpha track detection. It's a plastic film, which has been exposed for about one to 12 months. And alpha particles from radon decay produces damaged tracks Number of damaged tracks determined is by integrating detector. Next one is continuous radon monitoring through scintillation counters. Radon decay event causes electric current pulse in the device. It's a real-time detector. And here, the signal can be electronically integrated through pulse counting. The next one is electric ion chamber. That is electrostatically charged disc detector. So radon decay ionizes air. Air conductivity increases, reducing voltage across the chamber. It's again a real-time detector, and signal can be electronically integrated. Remedies for radon emissions. Radon mitigation. Radon mitigation is the process used to reduce radon gas concentrations in the breathing zones of occupied buildings or radon from water supplies. Few methods of mitigations are as follows. First one is the ventilation. Radon is collected below a concrete floor slab or a membrane on the ground, increasing the flow of air per hour in the building. The next mitigation method is subslab depressurization. This reduces radon to a vent pipe system and a fan, which pulls radon from beneath the house and vents it to the outside. Sub-slab depressurization. This method is also called as soil suction or active soil depressurization, in short ASD, the method to reduce radon. This is done through a vent pipe system and a fan, which pulls radon from beneath the house and vents it to the outside. This method is applicable to most buildings since radon usually enters from the soil and rock underneath and mechanical ventilation is used when the indoor radon is emitted from the building materials. A less common approach works efficiently by reducing air pressures within cavities of exterior and demising walls where radon emitting from building materials, most often concrete blocks, collects it. These are the pictures of SSD, that is subslab depressurization in buildings to control the radon contamination. Remedies. The next mitigation is opening windows which improves air circulation and ventilation, helping move radon out of the house and mixing radon free outside air with indoor air. Opening basement windows helps reduce negative air pressure, diluting radon with clean outdoor air. Water treatment systems can be achieved using aeration or activated charcoal to remove radon from domestic water supplies. Building signs. Some home builders add construction elements to new homes that help make the homes radon resistant. Some go so far as to install a full system with fan. In other states, some home builders include radon resistant construction elements as a value added feature or when requested by home buyers. There are advantages to installing a system when building a house. The piping 
can be easily concealed within a wall. The vent pipe can exit the roof and appear as a normal roof penetration. The subgrade can be prepared to make it easy to collect radon. And in many cases, these systems work well without need for fans. During the construction of a home, it is possible to treat several foundations by connecting each area to a single vent, which can be concealed in walls. Plus, the system may be effective without the need to install an operator fan. These remedies are not very impossible tasks, but rather they are very easily adoptable and hence should be given priority while constructing any building. Coming to the conclusion, radon can be dangerous. Testing is the only way to know the presence of radon. Mitigation will effectively reduce radon to levels, to safe levels, if radon levels are very high. Adopt building signs to reduce radon levels. Test it, fix it, and save a life. So these are some references which I used to make or which I referred to in making this video. Thank you for watching this video.